Award-winning chef and chop competitor Atul Jain is now the corporate executive chef and partner at Shohan Ale and Masala House. We're happy to have him in our kitchen today. We are making a seared snapper with Brussels sprouts and cauliflower puree. So it's a long title, but you say this is something that folks can easily do at home. That is correct. All right, so get us started here. Let's get some restaurant food in the house. Right? Yes, exactly. Awesome, awesome. So as we feel the heat here, I first want to talk about our beautiful, beautiful fish that we have here. It's an American red snapper. I've already filleted for you. Okay. And um, we have the Maybe skin on. Maybe I'll hold that on. up just a little bit more with one of the cameras sure. to pick that up. We have yeah. the skin on, and uh, it's obviously scaled fillet and all that stuff. It's a neutral fish, um, a little dense. It does take a few minutes to cook, mm -hmm. but um, it's not as expensive as Chilean sea bass or something of that yeah. sort. Yeah, okay. Uh, we are just going to season very simply with uh, some salt and pepper. You know, it's the chef's favorite, salt mm -hmm. pepper. No butter over here. I do use a medley of olive oil and uh, just regular canola oil to okay. cook, just so the olive oil doesn't burn soon. You see the pan is very hot. Yeah. In restaurants, we use these cast iron pans. You can use a nonstick pan like this at home. Something that is hot, it gives the skin a sear. Mm -hmm. You want to hear that sizzle. Yeah. It's the magic. That's the magic of restaurant food, you know, how you want to take some time and do it right. Okay. That's the main thing about cooking. So. In this, we're going to sear the skin, press down gently and let it sit for a couple of minutes. Okay. In the meantime... In real time, this would take how long to get it to cook? You know, if you get it from a butcher and it's cut up already, you're looking at eight, nine minutes, okay. depending on how... Today the fillet is really thick, but if it's slightly thinner, nine mm -hmm. minutes, keep okay. the oven on. And uh, in 15, 20 minutes, a good cook can have this ready. Okay. You know, the prepping part, is what takes it's time. what takes time, yeah. So, All right, so no way. Are you ready to get your hands dirty? Yeah, what awesome, do you need? Awesome, awesome. First, just watch if I'm doing it right. All right. Let me, <laughs> Let me know. So we have Brussels sprouts. Again, what we are doing today is cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, some cherry tomatoes, asparagus, seasonal. Mm -hmm. Tomatoes are coming in season. Uh, we use heirloom tomatoes. Brussels sprouts have been around for a little bit. Asparagus just came in. Just look at this beautiful, look at the color. Okay. Look at how sturdy the stem is and you snap this from here. The woody part goes away. We can make soup with it. We can make stock with it. So I'm just going to trim some um, Brussels sprouts here. We cut them in half. And these are ready. What we do with these little leaves, you can crisp fry them uh -huh. and use them okay. for something. Yes. Or you can just add them to a salad. Okay, super. Would you, would you like to fry them? Sure. Good. Just a little bit. All right. So all these vegetables, high in antioxidants, mm -hmm. high in anti-cancer fighting okay. um, you know, vitamins and things like that, and they're really healthy for you. So not just doing a health pitch, but yes. in our restaurant, we focus on vibrancy, brightness, light. Mm. You come to a restaurant, it's bright. Okay. It's full yeah, that's of what we like. All right, so and what's the next step here? We're about next under a minute now with everything. Here, we are going to transfer this to this. Would you like to put this in the oven? Sure. Just take the top thing. Okay. Make sure we don't burn you, and we are on. So I'm going to turn that heat off. Okay. So we have some asparagus here, which I'm going to cut. Love the tops, mm -hmm. the spears. Those are the most important parts. Snap this too. I'm going to cut that. And why don't you take my, I already have these slightly cooked, yeah. blanched, and go ahead and add them to this. All right. So how long will you cook this? You know, you're asking a chef. You're asking the wrong question. <laughs> <laughs> How long do I cook this? Yeah, so you got this and then... You uh, cook this till the sound goes down. Until the sound goes down. <laughs> down. And then we've got our cauliflower, cauliflower puree. puree. We're going to add some tomatoes here. All right. In, a, in about 45 seconds, I'm going to add a little salt. I'm not going to add the salt right now. The water comes out. Okay. But you're getting all excited about the cauliflower Yeah, so puree. where are you at? If you'll so, tell everybody where you're located at. We are on 12th and Porter, mm -hmm. right in the gulch over here and um, lunch, dinner, brunch, very exciting Sunday brunch. All right, and, and that's what everything looks like when all is that's said um, and done. It looks absolutely. good right there. Uh, you'll find this recipe on our website at newschannel5.com. That's where you'll also find details of Shohan El and Masala House if you would like to dine there. Thank you very much for being with Pleasure. us today. Thank you so much.